I was young, there were so many of these wonderful creatures all over the place. You take a drive from Lagos to Isei and you would come across it. Wildlife everywhere. And here we are at Lufasi Park and Lufasi is just a little bit away from a place that is called the Ibuenfo. And Ibuenfo means the home of the buffalo. This is the land of buffalo. So they were so abundant here, they actually named the territory after the buffalo. However, nobody in this generation has ever seen a wild buffalo. They've been driven into local extinction. This is Iguefon, a populated area in the Lekki axis of Lagos. Just up until about 40 years ago, the water buffalo was commonly seen right here in this area, but today it's extinct. So much beauty and diversity has vanished in such a short period of time. We've lost more than 70% of our wildlife in Nigeria in the past 50 years alone. How did we get to this point? Well, the biggest driver of this loss has been the illegal wildlife trade. And due to several factors, including corruption and a lack of political will and law enforcement, since 2015, Nigeria has emerged as Africa's key transit hub for the trafficking of pangolin scales and elephant ivory. And inside the crates, we found 1,120 ivory tusks, 13 rhino horns, and five leopard skins. Acting on the intelligence, um, we detained these two containers for examination. We noticed that these two containers are come from Nigeria. There are also more people on the planet today than ever before. As Nigeria's population has quadrupled over the past 50 years, so has the demand for land, food, water, timber, and other natural products, placing great pressure on our ecosystem, an ecosystem that depends on biodiversity to thrive. Laws protecting endangered trees have also been disregarded an explanation for the astounding rate of deforestation. Today, at least half of our forests across the country are gone. And what if we decided to protect our wildlife? After all, this is a multi-billion dollar industry currently employing over 3.6 million people on the African continent alone. Countries like Gabon, Rwanda, Tanzania, South Africa and Kenya continue to provide jobs and boost tourism through wildlife. This is Volcanoes National Park in Rwanda. Spanning across 8,000 square kilometers of the country, it is home to about half of the world's 780 mountain gorillas, which has been a huge cash cow. And aside from our ecosystem's clear need of biodiversity in order to thrive, with wildlife tourism generating up to five times more revenue than the hunting and trafficking of these species, there is financial incentive in enforcing these laws and protecting what is left. That's why we're going wild. It's our last chance to turn things around for wildlife in Nigeria. Over the next few weeks, I'll be traveling across the country with a team, exploring our land, forests and seas, experiencing all there is to gain from nature conservation. Join me, Leila Johnson Salami, on The Morning Show on Arise News every Sunday.